G'day, it's Damon from Nomad. I'm just going to talk you through how to rig these DTX minnows for marlin fishing. Now, rigging minnows for marlin fishing might seem a little strange to some people, but they're a really, really effective way to target marlin. The thing with minnows is you've got to rig them properly, or really when the fish start jumping, they're just going to jump off and you're going to lose them. But the fact of having a lure down, say, you know, eight, ten metres down underneath your skirts, we always troll minnows in amongst the spread. So these are a really, really effective way to target marlin. You just got to rig them up the right way. Now, the trick to do this is to use an assist hook. Now, it can really be any kind of assist hook that's got a cord. Now, the DTX minnow has been made with this additional front eyelet on the belly. And really, the reason for this is that, you know, if you're trying to catch marlin or even big tuna, you want to be able to hook on an assist cord with a cable tie here that's going to break off and then you've got a free swinging assist so if the fish do start jumping around the hook's not going to pull out of the fish's mouth. So we'll just show you how to quickly rig this up. What we're doing here is we're just putting the assist cord straight onto this front eyelet on the lure. So I'm just going to get the cable tie and wrap this around the cord a couple of times. This cord's a little bit longer than I really want it to be so just wrap that around there. Let's put this back up through the eye of the hook. Bring that down. Pull this guy out. And tighten him up. Now, what you really need to have happen when you're rigging this is that the hook is pretty much fixed onto the belly of the lure. So, if we look at this, the hook's actually fixed I'll just trim this cable tie off. A little bit neater. So what we've got going on here is that this hook is actually fixed in the downward position. So what you want to avoid with this rig is, you know, not having it fixed. So the problem is if this hook's just free swinging, when the lure's trolling, the hook's actually going to want to swing hook point up. And that's typically what any hook's going to want to do when you pull it through the water. It wants to sit hook point up. So you gotta make sure that's fixed in the downward position or it'll throw the balance of the lure out. So that's your belly, that's pretty straightforward. And then really for your tail, you can do the exact same thing. You can get another one with a split ring. I've got one sitting here that's probably a little bit smaller than we'd normally use, but again, you can just put that through the eyelet. I, I do prefer using the split rings generally because it gives a little bit more flexibility. So, but you can rig that up quite happily and that's gonna sit really well and uh, it's going to troll perfectly for a marlin. So when the fish does hook up, that cable tie is going to break away and the fish will be hooked up on the assist cord. So one really important thing with this rig and the reason that we've got the second eyelet on the belly is that if you just put an assist cord on the belly with a minnow, the hook will actually sit like this when you're trolling it through the water. So the hook point naturally wants to sit point up. So as you can see, that's going to cause quite a problem, A, for the balance of the lure, and B, for your hookup. So that hook's going to end up just sitting around the top of the lure here while it's swimming, and your hookup's going to be pretty terrible. So having this second eyelet that you can attach the hook point onto with a cable tie and put it hook point down is quite important. So this is an ideal rig for any larger pelagic species, probably not ideal for toothy critters, but really big tuna, billfish, um, anything that is going to have a problem when a normal rigged minnow um, has a split ring and the hook sort of getting leverage around a hook point. So this really is going to catch you more fish at the end of the day because um, once that hook goes in, the fish just don't have any leverage on the lure and they're not going to get away. So give it a go next time you're out trolling for marlin or tuna and uh, you might be pleasantly surprised.